Welcome to Digital Asset News, taking top stories in cryptocurrency and digital assets and bring them down to bite-sized pieces. Today is a good one. First up, Bitcoin is sure winning the battle of the safe havens as another publicly traded company invests $115 million in Bitcoin. And it's like I said before, once the dominoes start to fall, it will be a chain effect and here comes the next domino piece. A new report is out by investing giant Fidelity and it says that undoubtedly people are going to move to Bitcoin. And the real story isn't that they're going to move to Bitcoin. It's the way in which the information is going to start moving, which will trigger the next massive bull run and the FOMO effect. Also, Chainlink Network hits new milestone of over 30 billion in cumulative transaction volume. And this could be a deceiving number. And finally, in bad news, South Korea, there's going to be a 20% tax on crypto profits. Whereas before, there was absolutely no taxes whatsoever. And what this could actually mean moving forward for cryptocurrency digital assets in other countries, on top of the amount of taxes we have to pay here in the United States. So again, all that first, let's take a look at the market. So today it is October 14th. It is about 3 p.m. Texas time and uh, kind of a red sideways day. Not really too much action going on. Bitcoin is at 11,375, but it is up 7% for uh, the seven day period, only down 0.4%. So hey, not too bad. 375 for Ethereum. I'll take those numbers. Tether and XRP. Yeah, Bitcoin Cash up 0.7% and everything else is pretty much in the red. Let's see who's the biggest loser of the day. Crypto.com, that's not good. 6.2%, 1.55% 5 for Tezos, all right. 4% for Cosmos, 4.2, 2.8. So everything's pretty much taking a little bit of a dip. Eight, oh, 8% 8 for Uniswap, what a bummer that is. I do like Uniswap, I like how they did everything. They're building a community. It's tough to see them take that a hit, but uh, hey, it is cryptocurrency market, right? 5.2 down, 8.4 for yearn. Oh man, 14,000. I wonder if it's going to dip below 10,000 at some point. Compound down 5%. Hey, rent up 12%. Congratulations, all you rent holders. Massive run. And they're up 63% for the week. Wow. So I believe there was a new listing. That could be uh, one of the reasons for uh, Ren's monstrous gains. So congratulations again. So everything's in the red. So you gotta wonder what's going on in you know the big picture. What's happening? Well, let's take a look at the traditional market real quick. S and P is down. Looks like it opened at 3,500. Took a big dip today. 3,480. Moving sideways. So not too great. Um, I know there's been some recent news. The uh, stimulus bill is going to be totally nixed. That uh, looks like it's going to fall through. Plus, uh, if you had hopes on a vaccine coming from Eli, Eli Lilly, uh, just know that they are on standby. One of the participants got uh, sick, so they had to uh, halt the actual study. So that vaccine, but there's other ones in the, in the pipeline. So those two things uh, tend to spook investors and uh, look what happened. So we have this, and also we have a little little dip that we're going on in our market. And that's the problem with traditional uh, players. You know, they uh, are also here and they like to take money out because guess what's liquid 24-7, 365? Cryptocurrency market. All right, doesn't really matter. Let's take a look at what's going on in our market. So first up, this is huge. This is huge. I, I love these stories. Bitcoin is winning the battle of safe havens. Uh, another company, you know, another domino chip falls. So who is it? So while the price of Bitcoin continues to struggle for upward momentum, as we just saw, it has continued to attract the interest of multi-billion dollar corporations. So we had MicroStrategy and Square. MicroStrategy put in like around 430 million. Fact check me, I'm not for sure if it's that or 450, I always get them confused. Square was around 50 million. And the latest company now is Stone Ridge Holdings Group via its subsidiary New York Digital Investment Group, or NYDIG, which already holds a billion worth of digital assets. And they said, you know what, we got a billion, but let's just dump another 100 million and uh, buy up some Bitcoin. So on October 13th, Stone Ridge purchased 10,000 Bitcoin worth around 115 million. And this Bitcoin stash will be the, under the custody of its own spin-off spin -off firm, NYDIG. So it's just like I talked about. I mean, um, Nugget News said this one. I, I, I saw this today on, uh, there was a little snippet from Raul Pal and uh, Real Vision. And he said, nobody wants to be the first, but nobody wants to be last. And it's a good point because these corporations, these big companies are looking around going, okay, who's going to do it? Who's going to be the first one? And of course, you know, MicroStrategy was one of the big, the big ones that said, yeah, we're going to put a lot of our money into Bitcoin. And then slowly, 
Square comes off, which I think Square should have been the first one, quite honestly. I mean, Jack Dorsey is a huge proponent of, uh, he's a big cheerleader for Bitcoin. So, but they were the second. And now we've got Storm Ridge holding. So you can see the kind of timeline of what's happening. Nobody wants to be first, but nobody wants to be last. And once these corporations start to pick up, it will just increase exponentially. And I think that is going to be one of the catalysts for the next bull run. Now, when that happens, anybody's guess, my guess personally is 2021. I do not think it's going to happen before the end of this year, especially with the presidential election coming up and the uncertainty around that. But hey, we will see. Anyhow, it states Stone Ridge is an institutional asset manager with 10 plus billion assets belonging to top financial institutions and insurance companies under its management. The announcement indicates that the 10,000 Bitcoin purchased by Stone Ridge was made pursuant to its Treasury Reserve strategy. And it's the same thing that MicroStrategy did. They go, look, we've got a ton of money here. And uh, unfortunately, it's on fire because what the Fed is doing right now, the quantitative easing, they're printing money like it's going out of style. And uh, our money is just, you know, really just losing its value day by day, second by second, week by week, month by month. We have to do something with it. And we need a asset that is not... Uh, being easing out, maybe some that's being hardening, a quantitative hardening, and that's what Bitcoin's all about. So uh, they took their treasury, dumped a ton of, I mean, 430 plus million dollars, and here's where we're at. But the article is interesting, and, and it's great that this is happening, but this is what really made me feature this article first, and it states, as Bitcoin transitions to a predominantly institutionally owned asset. NYDIG is better positioned than ever to be the leading provider of Bitcoin solutions to corporations, institutions, and banks. We'll read that one more time. As Bitcoin transitions to a predominantly institutionally owned asset, NYDIG is positioned to be the leader for Bitcoin solutions to corporations, institutions, and banks. What does that say to you? First of all, that says they want your Bitcoin and they're going to manipulate the market until they get it. Second of all, the reason they're saying this isn't because they think it's going to happen or they've got a good hunch. It's because in these financial circles, everybody knows everybody. It's a lot smaller than what you might think. And I can guarantee they put out feelers, ask questions to their buddies and their friends and whoever they have out in the, in the different areas or different sectors and said, hey, what do you think about owning Bitcoin? And guess what happened? It came back very positive. And this is why they're saying these things because they're like, hey, if we buy up a ton of Bitcoin, well, we're going to be, uh, you know, the most popular kid on the block because we're going to be able to have all this Bitcoin and we have institutions all the way around. So why wouldn't we do it? So that to me is a bullish indicator. These companies do not just make hunches and guesses. They do a lot of data. They do a lot of research. And after they're done, they go, you know what? We're going to get into this. And here they are. If this statement would have come out in 2017 or the, during that bull run, it would have made everybody's head explode. So look at what is going on behind the scenes. And this is an example of looking at what they're doing and what they're saying. And to finish up, he states, we are proud to have facilitated one of the largest commitments of treasury assets to Bitcoin announcement to date and see demand for our full suite of corporate treasury and investment solutions accelerating. And that's very true. So in, in all honesty, it's really all laid out for us right there. Let me know what you think in the comment section. But for me, this is super bullish. Let's move on.